I normally hate this page. I hate everything about it. I hate what it stands for. Um, I hate the person behind it. I think the person behind it was, if I'm not mistaken, involved with Drake in some respect. I remember seeing some story about how Drake basically hit them up and and just helped him style him or whatever, build out his wardrobe. And this guy just like made up a fucking Google sheet of all the most limited edition pieces out there that everybody kind of wanks over and sent it to Drake. And then Drake just kind of bought everything that was available on their own grave and stuff. That's why Drake kind of pops up sometimes looking like a mess because, you know, there's no real rhyme or reason why he has these certain things he has. He just has them because he has money and shit. And there's no real attention to like, you know, what he's into about his shape, as, you know, about his body shape, about what looks best on him. All this summer, like, it's just like hype shit for the stake of hype shit so i'm not really the biggest fan of hidden and white right that's the page on instagram i'm not really a fan of it i think it's fucking bullshit um i hate the aesthetic behind it i hate this like imagine nostalgia thing behind it i hate that they repeat and just regurgitate the same images again and again and again and they don't really say anything you know insightful they don't really kind of spread any image any knowledge or any of that kind of malarkey but I have to be honest, and especially their collaborations as well, they've been terrible over the past few years. I think the Bape one, no, I think they did one with BBC or with, no, with NERD, sorry, that was horrendous. They did one with the Needles, that was fucking awful. But as much as I, I hate Hidden NY, I have to admit, these assets that they did are really nice. As much as I hate Hidden NY, the page and everything about it, I have to admit, these ASICs gels are really fucking nice. So it's courtesy of Hypebeats. I've got to mention it before. They're meant to be dropping sometime in March and they're all white ASICs. You know what ASICs look like. And they obviously feature the signature green and white colorway that you know of Hidden and Y. And these might be legitimately some of the best things that they've ever done. They've got some nice hit of the Hidden logo here on the tongue on one side with the circle with the H on the inside. And you've got the ASICs logo here on the other side of the foot. You've got a nice green, lime green um, hit here on the midsole. You've got this green accents on the outside of the of the sign. And then you've got these silver bits on top of the white and the mesh on the top. So color combo wise, you've got white, silver, green. Um, uh, you know, you can't really go wrong with that. And they look really cool. And then you've also got a hit here of the hidden stamp on the back as well, which is quite cool because they've included the grid, the kind of move signal, sorry, the move icon on Photoshop or Illustrator. If you use, if you use Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, you'd know that they've got that, you know, that kind of cursor, the move icon. So they included that around the logo on the back of the hilltop, which is quite a nice little hit for all you bedroom designers like myself out there. So pretty cool shoe. I have to be honest, especially considering some of the recent collaborations they've done before have been really terrible and really shit. And the fact that their page is incredibly reductive and boring, but it looks like over time they're getting there and maybe now hidden is going to turn into some sort of like design studio consultancy firm type of thing so maybe it might it might lead to them improving their page because the page is a little bit repetitive so maybe because of the inspirations or because of the projects they'll be handed or projects they'll be working on they might have to pull from different bits of inspiration that might inform the page and might kind of develop it taste wise viewpoint wise into a wholly different affair that might be the case you never know so let's read the article here courtesy of hypebeast it says after being teased at the end of 2023 the hidden ny gel nyc is nearing its launch with a complete breakdown of the new design revealed the white silver green arrangement utilizes co-branding that references photo editing software with a digital version of the asics tiger stripes um sizing handles around the hidden ny logo matching the thematic shoe box releases expected to take place in march via hidden ny and asics stay tuned for details so no idea when they're going to drop exactly we got the march details here we've also got a look on the box as you can see here it says asics and hidden on the inside of the box and then you've also got the shoes featured there on the inside so pretty cool i think in terms of shoes um i possibly wouldn't wear them because you know i don't try to wear stuff from brands that block me <laughs> so i'll probably not support in terms of wearing them but in terms of being a, in terms of being the hater no an unapologetic hater of hidden even i have to give them credit and say you know what they did a good job on these i have to i have to give them praise give praise where praise is due and say that hidden did a fucking good job on these assets so big up them for actually delivering for once because that nerd collaboration is still you know it still gives me nightmares as does the needless the needles one but this is really fucking well done especially look at that toe box that's fucking beautiful you got the combination of green silver white on the toe box and you've got different materials you've got the mesh i think that might be i don't think that is silver that might be patent i don't think it's 3m you've got the mesh toe box you've got the silver accent which is probably patent leather here and then whatever material is the midsole maybe it's pu 
that's a nice little kind of hit there combination i fucking love it so big up hidden and why love to see it love to see it hopefully this means the beginning of some nice things going forward and not some of that dross that they were putting out before hopefully no more dross like they were putting out before